Hey, hello you guys. Today we're gonna make an island together. We're gonna call it Unsorted Guy Rehab Island. Okay, we're gonna make it for the latest version of Minecraft. We're gonna make it a uh, 1000 blocks. Uh, we're gonna make it a circular world. Oh, I, I, I also launched Minecraft. Sorry about that. Uh, we're not gonna touch the other settings. I think this is fine. We're just gonna press create. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna select the brush. We're gonna use the height tool. And we're gonna lower the terrain. Actually, we're gonna increase the... We're gonna move this setting over here. We're gonna increase the intensity. We're just gonna lower the terrain. I want to make a small island, like a castaway island. So it won't be large. Small, small island that I can maybe retire on. Wouldn't that be nice? Have our own island that you can retire on? And also, I need your help. What should we call this island? Forge Lab is gonna play on it, and we need a name. Okay, what I would like to do now, uh, save the map and also export it. So the map is exported, and we're loading in. Oh, whoopsie, I loaded into the wrong world. The reason I exported the map already is just to get a general size of the island. Because when I'm in Wall Painter, I, I really can't tell how large my island is. But if I jump into the game, I can get a better grasp of it. And uh, you know what? This island is actually bigger than I expected it to be. It's not a bad size by any means, but maybe... Is it too large? Ah, oh, you know what? This is a good size, actually. So now we know what the size of the island is. I'm just gonna save and quit. Stop. So you wanna record videos yourself? Then let me introduce you to Outplayed. Outplayed is an easy, powerful recording software with support up to 300 games. With Outplayed, you can set it up to automatically record each time you launch a game of your choice. That way, you will never miss a moment. That is so smart. And in certain games like Halo, you can make it record only key moments like whenever you kill someone. And once you're done playing, you can quickly view all of your kills afterwards and share the clip straight to platforms like Discord. So simple, so great. So please go ahead and press my link in the description to download Outplayed for free. Thank you Outplayed for sponsoring my video. And now we are gonna start by making some mountains. Yes, let's get some mountains up. So I've already installed a lot of brushes. I can share some link in the description where you can download them. So I just took a brush, I'm gonna rotate it slightly. And then we're gonna raise, raise up a mountain, uh, maybe here. What you also can do is uh, go to the view and show 3D view. So you get a 3D view of your island. Okay, so increase intensity. It's going a bit slow than I like. Now, since this is a small island, I don't want I don't want to have a big mountain. Maybe slightly bigger. Yeah, I don't know if I like that uh, mountain there. We're gonna restart that. Flatten out everything. And then we're gonna use the smooth tool and just smooth it out. So you just gotta try. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just gotta try. Raise it up again. Now let's see how that looked. Nope, did not like that one bit. Okay. as one ugly mountain. I I'm sure one of these are like a mountain brush, but I just don't know. Okay, we got something. Slightly nicer looking mountain, I think. Let's just keep that for now. And what I would want to do next, make a small water pound. I want to have a small water pound inside my island. Lower the uh, terrain. And what we're also going to do, we're going to make a river connecting it to the ocean. Nice. Maybe add an extra one over here. So it's kind of rough right now, so we're just going to use the smooth tool, smooth it out. Let's look at the 3D view, it's not, uh, it's not that bad. One of the things I like to do is not have an uh, open river, I want this to be like a cave uh, river. So I'm going to connect these two lands, actually, I'm going to take a stronger brush, use a flattening tool, and just make, actually, maybe here, connect these parts, and maybe on the other side as well. Maybe we can do it twice, would that be cool? And then we also want to raise it. I want it to be at least 100 tall. Maybe something like that. I kind of ruined the river, but don't don't you worry about that. I will fix it. I know this looks like a mess already, but don't worry. I, I have a plan, I think. I think I have a plan at least. Let's look at the treaty view. Yeah, it looks horrendous, and uh, that's what we want right now. So the goal is to make a hole. You see where my, where my mouse cursor is? I gotta make a hole there. That goes into this area and same here so make two holes i think that will look will uh, end up looking very nice let's save our world and uh, export it Oop. <laughs> looks like i spawned in the water let's jump into spectator mode and fly around so the islands have changed a lot already so we got like one nice mountain uh maybe this top part is a bit uh, a bit too tall I, I definitely want to raise the terrain in other places like here this entire place needs to be raised Maybe the top is a bit too, a bit too like uh, bumpy. I guess I don't know. 
like a, a bit too, a bit too hilly is that a word so what we're gonna do we're gonna raise up the terrain generally all over if it wasn't clear uh, the goal is to make a hole and then i'm gonna dig straight through this uh terrain here out to the water pound on the inside of the island back in wall painter so i'm just lowering the terrain at the top and then we will also just like raise the terrain generally speaking right now i'm using a terrain brush which i hope is good and now comes one of the more uh, fun parts. We're gonna go into layers. We're gonna make a new layer. We're gonna make a cave tunnel layer. And this is the tool we're gonna use to dig through the terrain. Uh, the ceiling of the cave is gonna be... So I think the top part, the height level is 100. So we're gonna have a height level here be 95 and add like a five variation. Ocean level is uh, 62. So maybe if we go with 55, add a bit of variation there too. This is the wall and it's a straight wall right now. And we don't want that, we want it to curve. So I'm gonna start curving the top. Like this, maybe a bit at the bottom too, but mostly at the top. Uh -huh. And uh, that should be good for now. So we're ready to paint. So I'm just gonna paint, oops, that's a bit large paint through here. This blackness is, uh, is the cave layer that we just made. And then let's do the same over here. Stay straight through. Okay. Uh, we're gonna save it and we're gonna export it to see how it looks oh i gotta fix that I, I i keep spawning in the water okay let's look at what we have done now so here oh i noticed i forgot something i forgot to add water at the bottom yes yeah, so i need to definitely lower the top part because it's digging straight through here we don't want that what about this side uh this side wasn't that bad actually not too bad but also, I need to smooth out this. It doesn't look very nice. Okay, so I definitely need to do some more work. We're, in, we're not quite there yet. I'm just gonna smooth out this area here. Smooth, smooth it here too. Then we're going into tunnels. We're gonna edit it. We're gonna lower it back to 90. We're gonna add water to the bottom. And the walls. We're gonna decrease this one. And this one could be 30. Okay. Time set to 4000. I wanna have daytime. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. That's uh, better. We got a nice hole into the mountain here with water at the bottom. That uh, looks very nice. How does it look from this side? Not too bad. What about the opposite side? I should like this one better, if I'm being honest. Look at that. Two bridges. What I would like to do now is go to terrain and just like grass and just get rid of all of these sand and the gravel patches. We don't need that. And what I would like to do now is actually make a beach. So I'm just selecting one of my brushes here. I'm going to use the flattening tool and I'm just going to find a beach. The beach is at level six, height level 62. Yeah, found it. Then we're just going to flatten out the area. And I think the beach can stop uh, in this area here. We don't need to have beaches all over the place. Maybe a small one on this side. Uh, one actual here, not a large one. Just a and of course, we need to have a beach on the inside. Actually, I think it's very steep. Here's the beach uh, height level 62 and up here is 77. So it's quite steep. So I'm just using a flattening tool. I'm trying like to make like a, almost like a staircase up. Maybe even increase, increase the height some in some places. Like this, so the beach is not like completely flat. You know what you also can do? Instead of just racing, you can also lower the terrain in certain places. I'm just doing a bunch of random things, if I'm being honest. I'm just like raising, lowering, smoothing, raising, lowering. And hopefully in the end, they will look good. Hopefully, who knows? You guys are gonna be the judge of that. Let us paint the, the beach. We're gonna go to a layer. And now we're gonna go to the terrain. We're gonna select sand. And we're gonna go to brush settings. Let's select this option here, at or above uh, 58. And at or below 63, yeah. And this should paint only the beach. There we go. Now we got a nice beach. You know what? I'm gonna uh, use this tool here, and we're gonna switch where I spawn. I'm gonna spawn here now. You see the red, uh, red reticle? That's where I will spawn now. And yes, we're gonna do a lot of exporting back and forth. But I'm not making a million version of my maps. I'm just overwriting the previous one. So let's look at our island now. Look at that. We got a beach now. The hills are very steep. I must say or i must admit mountain is the mountain is looking quite good if i'm being honest is the beach uh, size a bit a bit too large would be fun also to have some like uh, pathways up here in the mountain maybe going around we will see i will use the flattening tool i'm gonna take it uh pretty pretty extreme flatten certain uh, places like here oh, yeah and this is looking nice 
Maybe we try and make a pathway up here now. Up in the mountain. Maybe that's nice. <laughs> Honestly, not sure. Yeah, you see now? Uh, I've made like a, a path here you can walk on the mountain. So I think I want to do keep doing that. Try and make some uh, walking paths. Potential walking paths. I'm also making some flat areas. Just some regular flat areas that you can maybe build on or whatever you feel like. Uh, so I just want to get rid of all the sand real quick. I just want to get rid of everything. Okay, so not, not everything is green. That's good. And paint in the beach again. I'm not gonna paint it up here because there won't be a beach up here. Okay, let's view the new terrain. Yeah, it's a bit better now, so now you can actually like walk up here easily. Here are some nice cliffs that could be really good looking once we get some rock terrain. And a mountain here. Yeah, you see now, now there's actually like some path you can walk on easily without falling. I want to do some manual work afterwards. And this side here, uh, that, that side it seems a bit too flat maybe. To make this island even more like interesting, I want to take this area here and push it out here. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're just gonna... We're gonna quickly raise this area somewhat. We're gonna raise it up to 100. Flatten it out. Like this? Yeah. So I'm gonna dig around it. Yeah, let's try to connect it to mainland. Then we're just gonna smooth it out. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the tunnel layer. Then I'm gonna paint around this island that we created. So what I've done, I made an island, I made a tunnels around it and I made uh, two extra tunnels here. Let's see what we have created just now. Okay, <laughs> that that became so much more ugly than I expected. <laughs> yeah, that, that was not pretty. That was not what I wanted at all. I mean, it's close, but uh, not quite there yet. Not quite there. Where's the second hole? Oh, here's a hole. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. If you can imagine having like vines and stuff going down. Let's look at the other hole that we made. Yeah, it's not as nice, actually. Maybe we should place it somewhere else. But first and foremost, we gotta fix whatever this is. Let's we'll try again, make a new hole here. Maybe a bit larger this time, like that. Like so. Yeah, I have a good feeling about that. I have a good feeling about that cave here. Let's, let's do something new. We're gonna make a new custom texture. In the terrain folder here, we're gonna uh, press the plus button and uh, create custom material. We're gonna go to complex one so we can use different uh, materials. And the first one we're gonna use is uh, stone. We're gonna add another one, maybe cobblestone. I must say cobblestone. We can add uh, andesite. Uh, you know what, I think that's good for now. We have some other options. Uh, this preview here is how it looks. And we can use like blobs. It's kind of hard to tell. But before we do any of that, we're going to change the count. So we want there to be a lot of stone. So we're going to switch up to 20. 10 cobblestone. 10 andesite. 10 mossy cobblestone. We're going to name it uh, this texture for rock. The rock texture. And we're going to paint it um, in the brush settings here. We can paint it on any surfaces above 45 degrees. I think that's a good starting point. Let's just begin. This is actually starting to res resemble an island first now. Hopefully it does in uh, in game as well. Okay, so uh, this is still a failure. Uh, it's supposed to actually have like a, a beam or something in the middle at least going down, but it's completely gone. But at least now you can see the new rock texture we made. I do like it. I do like the rock texture. I wonder if this gap here is a bit too wide. If I'm being honest, maybe even these uh, bridges is too wide. Let's make it less wide. We're back in wall painter. Try and fix this one here, so we have something in the center. We couldn't see the hole here, so I'm just gonna lower the terrain slightly. Hopefully we up here next time, make this one less wide. And what I would like to do now as well, is go back to the tunnel and edit it. Since we made a new texture, we can take the walls and add a material to it. We can add a rock, you can also add it to the ceiling, like that. So now that the new rock texture we made will be applied inside the caves as well. And this one here, oops, make it larger. Hopefully it will appear now. Same with this one. Ah, it's getting better. Look at this. It's, it's almost there. It's a bit too tall. That looks pretty nice, if I say so myself. And here's a new bridge. It's definitely less wide. And this hole here is quite open. Also, you can see now the texture inside the cave here is identical to the rest of the rocks. And look at, oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that, that is nice. I like I like the look of this. Oh yeah. And yeah, I know this looks 
quite nice. I can also imagine if people are playing and just imagine it's like full of uh, trees and vegetation. They just run, not paying attention and suddenly, whoop, they fall down here. Yeah, so what I will do next, I will cut this one shorter and I will uh, re place this one here somewhere else, I think. Maybe have it here instead. Maybe something like that, huh? Okay, testing a new update. Why? <laughs> it's still uh, too tall, you know? But maybe it's not that bad, actually. With some manual work, I can probably just like remove certain blocks like here, maybe. And I can make it slightly less tall manually. I won't do that now, of course, but like once uh, the map is like, once I'm happy with the map. Now let's look at the other hole that I made over here. Ooh. Okay, so this is slightly better, I feel like. Okay, I'm just gonna give myself night vision to look how this looks. You know what? That's quite nice. Oh yeah. I just realized something. This water here, this water pound, I think it's a bit too deep. It shouldn't be this it shouldn't be this deep, I don't think. I wonder if we should have a mountain of some sort in this area. Couldn't give it another go. Try lowering the edge here. Just flat use a flat tool. As I said, I think it was a bit too bit too deep. Just flattening it out. Flattening, flattening, flattening. Then I will use a smooth tool and just smooth, smooth, smooth. Also, this beach has almost disappeared, I noticed. Maybe we should try get it back. Get some of the beach back that we lost. Add another custom material. This will be for the ground. We want grass, of course, simple grass. We want to add another material and it's gonna be a moss block. I like the pod sole. Pod sole? I don't even know what it is, but I like it. For this uh, material, I want to go with the blobs uh, method. And I also want to increase the scale. Right now it's 100, so I'm going to increase this one to uh, actually 300. Uh huh. Maybe even pod sole, just take it lower, go to one. So I want to have, I don't want to have many of those. Ooh, grass block. What happened to you? You should be 20. Yeah, this looks good. I'm going to spray paint it. You're going to choose only on grass. Paint this baby. Based on what I see now, maybe I should change the settings again. Maybe 300 was a bit too much. Let's go with 200. I think that's better. And I want to make another material. It's going to be for the ceiling of the caves that we made. And the side, stone and the side. Finally, I want moss. I want moss blocks up in the ceiling. Would it be fun to have an ore? Or a diamond ore? Diamond ore, where are you? The material is made. So if you go into tunnels, we're going to edit. And we're going to select the uh, ceiling. And we're going to change it from rock to a... Uh, the new one that we made. And since we're making so many materials, we're gonna make one more. This is going to be the sieve floor. We're gonna have dirt, clay. Uh, we're gonna need um, gravel, blobs again. Scale to uh, 300. Maybe increase dirt to 10. Gravel to 10. I don't know. Ocean floor texture. We go to layers and just remove water at or below 57. No. Or maybe yes. No. Just painting this baby. Okay. So now we have painted in the floor. I want to paint in the biome. So we're going to take uh, ocean. Take lukewarm ocean. And we're going to have it only on water. It's hard to tell, but I'm actually painting it. If you look at the bottom middle, it says lukewarm ocean biome. That's good. But I also want some warm uh, biome. And I want to have that inside here. Inside here is extra warm. And maybe it's ex extra warm right outside as well. Okay. Beautiful. And now we're going to go to jungle. We're going to take only on land. Paint in a jungle biome. So this entire island now is a jungle. But we also have a beach. We're going to paint in the beach as well. There's a future in the layers called Populate that will uh, let Minecraft populate the land with all type of different uh, vegetation. I don't want to have a bunch of coral reefs here in the uh, water pound. So I'm going to paint that only in water inside here. So then Minecraft's going to populate it with seagrass and coral reefs. I'm gonna let Minecraft just populate the entire ocean actually. I will leave that to Minecraft to fix. Let's save it and load it up. This is going to be a big update. I'm quite excited. Oh, I'm already greeted by a bunch of turtles. <laughs> Thank you, Minecraft. So Minecraft has also spawned some uh, entities or mobs. Look at the water pound now. Looks quite nice. And here's the coral, coral reefs I wanted. Yeah, some trees spawned and I did not want that, but it does okay. And now we can actually look at the new terrain, grass, moss, 
But yeah, this island is getting quite larger than I expected. I was going to make like a, a simple castaway island, but this is much larger. Yeah. Oh, we got wolves up here too. It's quite a crowded space up here. Let's look at these holes. Looks quite nice. Once we get some trees and stuff up here, it will be very beautiful. But I can already tell the ocean is not deep at all. I definitely need to make that deeper. Please remind me to make this one deeper. Look at all the fish. Look at the fish here. A bunch of turtles. A lot of turtles. Why are there so many turtles in this area? I, I can't remember seeing much turtles outside. There's like no turtles here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're back in Wall Painter and I'm gonna unpaint that uh, island the top there what i would like to do is connect all of these caves so we're gonna make a new tunnel uh, layer floor level be uh, we don't want it to be uh, deep 60 oh actually maybe we go for 59 i'm gonna fill uh, with water the floor level is beneath uh, the water but it will vary so sometimes it's over and sometimes it's under and the ceiling we don't want it to be too tall so maybe uh, 70 we can go with 80 Start with 80. Have the walls curve slightly on maybe both sides. Like 10, 10, maybe? 10, 15. Okay. Both the ceiling and the walls will use the new uh, texture we made uh, not long ago. And we're going to use the ocean floor. We can start with this one. Make a tunnel that goes under all of this. Connect to this one. Just try to make it a bit very Like some areas are a bit larger than other areas. Like here maybe it can be a bit larger. Maybe it can curve actually. We'll continue going. More curves. Maybe we can have a small one connected to this. Oh my god, it's gonna be so many caves! <laughs> this one will connect over here. We'll go here. Be a large tunnel. I just want it to be like one big, one big cave in, under the mountain. Maybe we can try something. We will have, have this tunnel lead out to the water pound. Maybe that will look good. Maybe. Look at this. Look at the cave system. The caves goes in a full circle. Let's save and view it. Yes, I got away those trees up here at least. Most of them, there are some left. Oh, look at that. We got one of the new caves that I made. Let's start over here. Look at that. I look so good. Look at this cave. The only problem is uh, it needs to have more water. I want it to be water all the way, with just small islands like this from here. This is what I wanted for the entire thing. <laughs> look at all the diamond ores. I think the diamond ores are getting out of hand though. Look at all the diamond ores. Too many diamond ores. And suddenly here is uh, a lot of water. Oh yeah, it's because of the hole. Right, 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 right. I knew that. And then it shall continue in here. And soon I should be at the main... Oh, I think I'm in the main room now. Oh yeah, oh look at that. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Here we have like... This is where like the pirate uh, left all of his gold. So floor level, I'm gonna change it to uh, 3. We're gonna go into the materials and we're gonna edit it. We're gonna take away the diamond ore. We, I liked having ores in it. We're gonna have emeralds, emerald ore. So gonna be a lot of emeralds. Oh, look at, look at it. Oh, look at the opening now. That's a nice opening. Ooh, it's so dark. I need to have like a bunch of glowing berries. All I can see now are the emeralds. That's all I can see. That's much better, but it's not quite perfect. Uh, it needs to be slightly wider in certain spots, I feel like. But yeah, the caves are definitely much better now. This is where the pirate Kim has uh, like stored all of his gold. That's the plan. We're gonna, I'm gonna make like an island here in the middle and it's gonna have like a bunch of gold. Cause here's where the pirate uh, like hid all, his, uh, all of his treasures. So what I need to do is make it wider. The tunnel needs to be slightly wider in most places. And now I would like to make an extra mountain, I think. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's just paint that real quick. I think it's time we get some vegetation here. We're gonna go to layers. We're gonna add a new layer, add a new uh, plant layer. We're gonna have a bunch of grass, like, like, like 20 grass, five uh, tall grass, a fern. We want some flowers to make it uh, beautiful. And what else do we want? Uh, carrots, we want carrots. I'm gonna select only on terrain, uh, custom terrain, uh, ground. And we're gonna make a new layer. Add new layer, add custom object layer. And here's where you can spawn objects. And in this case, we're gonna have trees. I already have a bunch of nice trees that I want to use. I'm gonna try to leave some links to some trees that you can download. So I'm just gonna select a bunch of trees that I like. One important thing, 
uh, when you're doing this is going into the object and edit it and also like and like push the object down to the ground otherwise you might have floating roots and uh, that's not going to look nice so on the right side here you can see how dense it is and that, that is too dense for me so i'm going to try increase this uh, i'm going to take 100 mm. oh yeah and it, this looks good 25 and 100 this density here is what i like i'm going to call it uh, trees and we're going to make it red let's paint in the, these trees so i'm going to take intensity down to 25 so I'm just going to try paint in the trees in those different locations I want them. I'm honestly not sold if I did this correctly. All right, let's save and explore. This might be very nice or full chaos. I'm not sure. Now look at this place. It, it, is a, it has changed, that is for sure. I would say some locations are nice, but like, like this tree on top of here, I'm not quite sold on that one. Other than that, I think the location of many of the trees are quite nice is it just me or does this mountain feel like like i'm somewhat confused this mountain here seems so much smaller now than it used to is that just me oh look at that yeah, i need to get rid of the trees above the entrances to the caves here now let's look at the caves and see how they how they have changed yes yeah, so they're much wider now yes yeah, so you should be able to row your boat very easily and i afterwards i will get rid of these of course they will be gone don't worry about that oh there's a hole here Another hole that I didn't know of. Quite nice hole, actually. Here's, here, here's one of the big openings. Quite happy with the, how the caves are. And I will also add some glowberries. Uh, I'm gonna add glowberries like this. I have like a bunch of lights inside the caves. It's gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna play around with the tree settings a bit more. But the one thing I want to do first is make a new layer that's going to be a river. And those are called... I think they're called ground cover layer? Yes, uh, so my material, we're gonna uh, make a new one. Gonna be water, just water. And this is how we make rivers. You're gonna select materials, water, uh, thickness. We're gonna take minus two, perhaps. So it goes down into terrain. Edge shape, we're gonna have shear. So it cut a sharp, sharp cut. And color wise, I guess we go with blue, nice blue color. And that should be it. Make a hard brush. It should be able to make some nice rivers. We can make one river here. Starts here, goes down, get uh, a bit smaller, and it goes down into this uh, cave. And we can have it uh, also here, it goes down the mountain. I love making rivers and waterfalls. Look at that. I painted a bunch of uh, river streams. I also want to customize the cave material. I want to try something. I'm going to add material, and we're going to cave, cave, uh, wines, plants, berries. Uh, let's see now. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Oh, yeah, I think it's looking better, I think. Based on what I see here, yeah, that, that, that did not work. What I did with the glowberries did not work. Well, let's look at the rivers that I've made. Oh, this was, it goes under the tree. Look at this river. Ooh, it's going off track. It's not supposed to go there. This, ah, oh. look at this nice river we made. Look at this tree. I gotta fix that, oh. Look at that waterfall. It's a nice waterfall. This is going to be the final export. I'm going to start by fixing uh, my misspell here. Good. Uh, border can be just water. Uh, include chest of goodies when you turn it off. Normal, generate structures. Go to cave and caverns. We, will not, we want to have caves. We want to have caverns. We want to have chasms. Uh, chasms break the surface. No, we don't want... Uh, also caves. I don't want caves to break the surface. Uh, resources. We're gonna have resources all over the place. And that should be pretty much it. Okay, we're loading in into the final version of our map before we go in and do manual work. Yeah, I fixed some of the roots already, so it's not that bad. I'm do a quick flyby. There's nothing really off that I see right away. So here are some issues that occurred because we added the caves. If you go on the ground now, you see there's a bunch of caves. Those weren't here before. But because of that, they have made holes in my water. The way I fix it, I go close to it. Type in this command here, fix water by 100. And boop, it's good now. Here's another example that I need to fix. Uh, a new cave has been generated here. And I like that, but what I wanna do, is gonna type water 100 by 100. Now, the water will just continue going in here and down, in, <laughs> down into the cave. You see, here's another pound that is broken, water. Oof, and it's nice again. I'm going to do some off-camera work, and that is fixing waters like this. And I will add some glowing berries like this. And yeah. So 
So I will do that in every cave. It's going to take a while, but I will just skip it for you guys. And I'm also going to add uh, seagrass to the bottom here, because there's, there's nothing on the bottom. Once I fixed all of the broken water spots and added the vegetation, I added even more vegetation to the cave entrances on the surface. So a ton of leaves around the edges and vines going down. And to add more character to this place, I made a tiny campsite. Then I moved over to the second cave entrance, or are these called uh, ravines? But anyway, I did the exact same thing here. And I added a tiny boat with a chest in the center of the ravine. It looks so beautiful. I previously built the ancient city on the surface. Please consider watching that afterwards. But I was thinking I could steal a couple of structures and add them to my island. So that is what I did. The first structure I took was the watchtower and I placed it on the cliff. Then I blew parts of it off and I replaced the blocks with mossy blocks. The goal was to make it into an old ruin. Then I added even more vines and leaves. I've been placing so many leaves. My fingers was hurting while doing this repeatedly. But hey, as long as it looks good. The second structure I spawned was the ancient city walled gate. A really cool structure and I did the same thing to this one. But I also planted more jungle trees as I wanted this area to be more dense. Then finally I spawned the barracks or maybe it's a temple, kind of forgot. But I think having some ruins like this one on the island makes it a much more interesting place. Before we can say we're finished, I'd like to add two more things. The first thing is a bandit cave close to the top of the mountain. Inside of this cave we will have some pillagers or bandits with some good loot. And yes, they have also some prisoners that you might want to save. And the last thing I want to make is the hidden treasure that we talked about earlier. Just a small island with a lot of gold and other goodies. But please be careful, there's at least two or three uh, monster spawners that are guarding the treasure. Okay, there's one final thing we must do, and it's so cool. And that is having some dead hanging corpses at the edge of the cliff. And having one is not enough. We're gonna need a couple of them. This is definitely gonna send a message to anyone who dares to go to shore on this island. But that's it, we're done. Okay, we did it. The island is finally complete. What do you guys think? But uh, what should we call this island? Give me some good names, please. I guess it's no longer a paradise as we added a couple of structures with some dangerous mob. But I really hope Forge Labs will play on this and perhaps you guys as well. It would make for a fun challenge, just trying to survive on a tropical island. And thanks to the structures we placed, you will have some objectives to do and loot to gain. I won't say what I placed in these structures, but there are some goodies in there for sure, especially in a large sea cave. But my favorite spot is easily the ravines. I have fallen in deep love with it. It looks amazing. But what did you guys like the most? And hey, I just want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you. You guys will get this map. And you can also buy it from a store. And if you really want, you can pick up one of my merch. I would love to see that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching.